Okay guys, I'm back again. We're going to do a tutorial like I promised you guys. And we're going to do a little bit of everything. Um, we're going to do a front view. We're going to do a three-quarter view. And uh, these are techniques that I actually observed yesterday. I, I saw them on, on Google and also on YouTube. YouTube and... Um, there's a great technique from this great artist. He's from Argentina. His name is Serpino. And um, the only thing is his video is in Spanish. But I'm going to explain to you guys pretty much how he did his technique in English with my poorly grammar that I have. But uh, I'm going to try my best to show you the tricks, uh, especially the hints and a shortcut in drawing a portrait. All right, so let's start with this one right here. And we're gonna use a, the Loomis uh, face. We're gonna actually put a picture, uh, sorry, a, a paper, and we're gonna trace this whole drawing. I'm gonna show you by using this technique. So what he does is he starts off uh, doing uh, the hint of the eyebrows right here. You can see one, two, three. And then he did, you know, the mouth, then he did the chin. Here, I did a better example. For example, what I did was, he did this. He did a line here, he did another line here. But what I did was, I did better a line for the whole eyebrow, and then I started working with the eyebrow. And then I did the center line. He did not use the center line. I don't know why. What he did was that he started doing something like this. See? Like that, like that like that like that and then he started working with the face up then he started rounding off the face i mean you could do it that way if you want but it's always better to use you know once you do this do the vertical line because that's going to actually help you figure out you know the uh, you know everything that stays level you you want to make sure that this part of the face stays level and this part of the face Days level so you know if you do it his way then you'll probably get will get lost so pretty much like I always do and I always recommend to everybody that when you observe a technique and look at a method always um, try to change it the way you think it might work for you okay so this is what he did he did a line here, a line here, then he did another line here, and he did a line for the mouth, and then he did a line for the, the lip, and then he rounded off the shape of the face. And if you're practical, if you already know how a face looks like, then of course you'll be able to do a face. But this is a great technique when you're doing, you know, reference drawing. So. Now, the way I did it is I actually did the same style, the same way he did it, but I did the vertical line because it helps me view the balance of this part of the face and this part of the, va the this face over here. So everything is level, you see? Once you use the vertical line, this part of the face will stay level and this other part of the face will stay level. Okay, so that's very important. So let's get started. <clears throat> We're going to do this face, but I don't know if, no, I don't think, uh, no, it's not going to show. No, it's not going to show. But anyway, we'll use her for reference. And let me get my board. So that way. So what we're going to do is we're going to use her, you know, her, you know, the her picture for reference. And we'll start on this part of the page right here. So I'll say if we look at her real good, the face, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to do, let's do it his way to see if it works out. An, an eyebrow here and the other brow eyebrow here. And then the nose line would be here 
and then the mouth would be around here and since she's got full lips we'll just do a hint of her lips like that and then we'll do you know the her chin right here so we're gonna do it like he did it And at the same time, I'm going, I'm going to do the way I would do it. So we're doing it the way he did it, and I'm going to do it the way I would do it. So I do a center line after I do the horizontal line. So I make sure that's even. And now I'm going to look at her face really good, and I'm going to you know study the structure of the shape of her face. So... It goes down this way, sort of like a big diamond shape, you see? Then it tapers in, and it tapers in, and sort of, it's kind of round in the bottom. So let's see if we can capture that. And her eye would be right here. I'm gonna make that eye line there. But first I wanna do the, the shape of her of her face. So far it's working. And that's because I used a vertical line. Okay, now I'm gonna actually study her nose. She's got like a small petite nose. So I'm going to do sort of like a small circle for that nose. Work with the center of her nose all the way to the, you know, to the bridge of the nose. So we got her nose and her eyes, of course, I'm going to actually measure up from the corner of the nose and I'm going to start doing her eye shapes. So I'm gonna do sort of like a, a diamond shape because that's what it looks like, her eyes. If you look at her eyes really good, now she's got sort of like, um, sort of like diamond, like a diamond shape, okay? But when you do that diamond shape, trust me, you're gonna make it better and you'll see what I mean, see? And then of course the eyebrows are just a little bit further out this way. Sort of like another, sort of like another diamond shape like this, so you could actually tell. So we're gonna do all that. Trust me. So I'm gonna work with her eyes first. Now do her other eye over here. So I want to make sure that her eye stays nice and level on this side. So, work with her eyelid, her other eyelid. Now I could start working with her eyelashes. She's got these really pretty eyelashes. And one thing about Loomis, man, he draws so beautiful. He draws the most beautiful women. Let me focus this a little better so you can see a little bit more shards, yeah. Just this phone. Okay, so now I could fix the eyebrows a little bit better. Do that diamond shape like this very carefully. And over here also. Bring the uh, eyebrow a little bit downward. Erase uh, with my needed eraser. Erase this line that I don't need. And so far, um, I got her eyes and her eyebrows. Except for this one, I still got to work for this one. So work, let me see, it sort of comes out this way. Why is it, some, oh no wonder there's something underneath here. Hold on, I mean, because I keep forgetting that drawing on this board is not easy. So I have to put like more paper 
in the bottom so I have a very smooth you know smooth surface that I can draw what I should have done was I should have left I should have never thrown away the cardboard that came with this it actually gave me a good smooth way how to so I'm gonna see if I can capture her eyebrow kind of goes in a little bit and then it comes out this way so so far it looks a little bit like her not that much though and again you know I'm not very good doing good reference I suck doing reference sometimes but I'm gonna try my best so you can see it's almost like her the shape and then um, I'm going to start working with her lips. First, I want to, you know, work with her nice, the, her, the nostrils. Let me use another pencil for a second. Why is this happening? Just something bought. Oh, no wonder. Wait, hold on a second. What happened was that I was eating on my board before. And then... It just got dirty underneath, you know, on it and then the paper. I just want to make sure all this stuff is out. Okay. There you go. All right. So now I could work with this better now. She's got this really cute little nose. Very petite, very cute little nose she has. And we'll start making her cheeks bone coming out a little bit more. Her jaw. And all the way down to her. So this part of her chin, you can see this sort of like a lump, not a lump, but more like an oval shape right here. So if you want, first we are good, we're going to work with the lips first. And then we'll start working with the top of the lip. Like that. Just to get the general shape. And then we can work with the center of the lip. Like that. Just to get it out of the way. And then we can start working with the bottom part of her lip. Now I can concentrate on the chin. So now I could just get my um, eraser and uh, fix this just a little bit better. So I do that sort of like that circle here. And here we have. There you go, so it looks better now. Now, I don't know if this technique might help you guys out. It's really worth it, I think. Um, you can give it a shot, see if it works for you guys. Then, of course, her neck is slender. And then her ears are covered up because of her hair. So her hair, you'll see some part of her ear like that. And this other part of the ear. And she is a little bit older. So she, we got to make some more cheeks line here. So I think it looks like her a little bit, but not that much. Mm -mm. Looks more like a younger woman. That's what it looks like. Let me um, fix her eyes. Yeah, it looks more like a, a young woman.
and we'll do some shade on her. And her lips. And the bottom of the lip. Give her a nice look. And I definitely need a lot of practice doing self port I mean, not self portrait sorry, just, you know, regular portraits. Definitely need a lot of practice on that, doing portraits. I gotta stop doing, you know, superhero faces or mutants or monster faces, whatever. I gotta, I really gotta concentrate more on doing, you know, portrait drawing. Maybe do a little curly look coming down this way. Yeah, make her look a little bit different. Since she doesn't look like her that much, I might as well just change her, her hairstyle a little bit. Maybe make it a little bit longer over here. Yeah, this will be a, a different. And I'm definitely gonna save this. Maybe erase all this other stuff that I did and just use this drawing. Because I hate to throw something good, like, you know, something like this away. So I might as well just save it instead of throwing it away. Let me do this over here. So this is almost like the Loomis method, except that you're not using the circle, you're using the three line method. Remember the Loomis method, and I keep explaining, you know, explaining this to everybody, that the Loomis method could be changed in so many ways and forms. Every artist all over the planet actually changes, have studied the Loomis method, and they do their own technique their own methods. Um, even Loomis himself, I noticed in some of his books that most of the techniques don't really look the same. So I'm gonna see if I can make her look more older. Let me see if I could just do this a little better here. Cause she is an older woman, but I don't wanna make her look too young. Maybe I think I know what's wrong is that this part here, that bone shape, that's what it is, the bone shape. That jaw shape is it's throwing me off. That's what's killing me here. Okay, now it looks a little better now. Now it looks better. All right, that came out pretty good. Now we're gonna try out something else. We're gonna do something different. We're gonna work with this one. And it's, it's almost like the Loomis method, except that you're just working with lines. And so the same thing, three parts again. Make sure that it's same level as this. You know, you just go like, you know, sort of like measure with your own fingers like that. Make sure, you know, the nose is there, the chin here. And then we'll start working with the nose. 
do a hint of the eyes over here just to get that out of the way the nose the mouth right, right around here the lip and then of course the chin is going to pass that line so don't worry about that If it passes the line, don't worry about it because you're going to be shaping the face afterwards. So don't panic about that. Because I also was kind of concerned about that when I started practicing this technique. I said, wait a minute, the chin is passing the line, but I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to worry about it if the whole drawing comes out bad. If it comes out good, then that means I did something good. That's all I'm going to worry about now. And this is going to be a man. I'm going to shade around his eyes just to give it that effect. And then we're going to do the planes. Let's put this away. Gonna work. Let me let put let's put this away for now. Hold on. That way we get comfortable here. This here. All right. So here we go. We'll work with the planes. I need this. Especially the center yeah. around there. Okay, now we got the planes, the temple of the head. And this is not going to be the top of the head. The top of the head is going to be here. This is just the top of where the hairline is. Remember that this, when you're doing the three line effect, got to remember that there's going to be another line here, which is going to be the top of the head. But don't worry about that now. You just got to concentrate from the center to the outside. So now what you're going to do is you are doing this pretty much like I did with the other drawing. I'm going to shape the contour of the face. I could actually, you know, do loose lines and get the proper shape if I want. You know, kind of like scribble loose lines. You know, I could do that if I want. Work with the ears. So that way the whole face will start taking form, the whole head. And this line over here, of course, is the top of the head. So far, so good. And then the jaw. Now I can visualize where the end of the jaw could be. So the, the bottom of the lip is right here. So now I could correct this more better. Erase this a little bit. I want to make sure I could also use this technique, bring the lines down. That'll help me form the whole jaw here. And when they're in the ears.
So this worked. I think this worked out pretty good. I mean, we did it from scratch. One, two, the eyes, four, the planes, and five, the mouth. And then after that, you start shaping the contour of the whole head. So you could do it that way if you want. But always remember there's three lines, just like the Loomis technique. All right, so let's do another one. Another one I, um, this one is from my favorite artist, but it's more like comic book style. Um, actually, uh, his name is uh, Ryan Benjamin. And we're gonna do, actually we'll do it here because I don't wanna waste too much paper. So this is sort of like the three quarter view, but comic book style. I think I put too much light on this. All right, so. Vertical line for the center of the face. This is gonna be the center of the face. And this will be the eyebrow line here. And this will be the temple here, the eye. I always start right here. Always start with the eye here. And then the other eye closer to the vertical line because it's gonna be a three quarter view. So we have a hint of the eye there and the eye there. Then we simply visualize where the nose would be. We'll make another line that would be where the nose would be. You can use the triangle technique if you want. And since the head is facing down, you're gonna have to make it a little bit pointing down a little bit like that. And then the mouth will be right here in between the chin and where the nose line is. And remember that this part of the mouth is a little bit shorter and this one extends, extends out more because it's for shortening and perspective at the same time. So you might want to make another line like this. And also that's, that line also is going to help you indicate where the end of the nose is going to be at. So we have that. And now what we do is we start shaping the contour of the side of the face all the way down to the chin. And we do the planes over here. And then we start fixing more of the temple. And sort of like a, a diamond shape over here, which is gonna be the hairline. Then we indicate once we have all this done, and I'm gonna do this in ink so you guys can see this more clear. First, we do the vertical line, horizontal line for the eyes, the line for the temple. That way you'll know where the, the left eye is gonna be. We'll do the, an indication of the eye here, the other eye closer to the vertical line. A line for the nose, triangle shape, a little bit pointing down because the face, the pose, of course, is pointed down. And it depends how if you're doing it upward, you know, the nose, the position of the nose is going to change. Then we do the line for the mouth, of course, foreshorten. This side you're going to see less and this side you're going to see more. Same thing with the eye. Then you start working with the contour of the side of the face all the way down to the chin. And then you do the planes like that. Connect it all the way up to the... Um, this part of the temple kind of like if you were doing something like this just like the marble way and then uh, of course fix this part of the head you know shape the head give it shape and then the jaw would be around here actually do the ears first you know do like an oval for the ears where that ear is going to be placed at once you do the features, yeah, when you do the features, do the ears. And you do it that way. Another way of doing this, too, that you can do it this way. You can, I'm going to see if I can do it half pencil and half pen. You can do it this way also. You can do, here's the eye line, a vertical line. The temple for the eye. The eye over here. The eye over here. The nose line here. 
Then you do the um, the oval for the nose. I mean, it's for the ears, sorry. And then you have the mouth line there, then the chin. And then all you have to do is visualize the contour of the side of the face all the way down to where the chin is and you connect it where the ear is and that would be your jaw then you can do the um how do you call it uh, the planes like that see and connect it like that see so you could do it that way but make sure you do the whole shape you know give it a good good proportion start here up here bring it to the jaw and then do the planes the plane for on this side of the face then when you start doing the features well you start you know uh you could work with the eyes first or the nose you know some people would start with the nose first so i would actually start with the nose just like the loomis method because loomis actually starts with the nose also romero starts with the nose then we do the eye he's sort of like mean looking or you know he's mad about something whatever and then you can start doing more details the cheeks sort of like a lump over here all the way down to the chin here oh i kind of messed up there but anyway it doesn't matter this is just a demonstration that i'm doing and then of course you make this uh the hairline over here and hairlines over here and fix the jaw render in the jaw a little bit and then fix the back of the head so i think that's the way he uh actually did this um You could do it this way and you could do it this way. Now we're going to do this one that I, I saw. This was, this was kind of interesting by another video that I saw on YouTube. And this guy was a British guy and he explained it very well. And I like British people. They actually explain the way they talk. Most of my movies that I watch are British. So this one is sort of like the yeah it's definitely the loomis method i mean the way he did it i think it's really um very very close to the loomis method and then he does a sort of like a, a beach ball technique something like that sort of like geometrical shapes he was going to build the horizontal line for the eyebrow line let's just make sure that this is right correct then a vertical line, the center line for the face, nose line, and the chin line. Then what he does, let me see if I can remember, yes, the uh, an oval for the side of the head. Because that, this side is going to be chopped off, so that's what he's doing, he's chopping off. So make sure it's where the end, where that nose line is going to be. And the hairline is going to be. So the next thing he does is he starts um, doing the cheek lines here, right? Then the other cheek line here. And then he does sort of like slices where that jaw is going to be at, right? That, see? Then he connects it to where the jaw is. On there then the next thing he does he's he connects this part over here too I think that's what he does I'm trying to remember that what he did even though I did I did took you know I, I took notes but there were some things I probably missed so I'm trying to remember every single detail that he did so then um, I think he does another um, eye line here and that's when he starts working with the nose first ok 
Okay. Then he indicates, starts forming more of the planes. So what he does next, he starts connecting the cheek lines all the way to the temple right here. So let's see if we can capture that. Like that. And from here, the corner, that's where he does the eye right there, see? And then he does the other eye over here. So after he does all this, he starts um, working with the contour of the side of the face. And this line here that he did before actually helps form the contour. So I think that's the way he did it. And I analyze every move that he did. I had to like slow down also the, the video in order to figure out how he did it from the beginning. And then the mouth line, of course, between the nose and the chin, of course. Bottom of the lip. Right here would be the chin. So I'm gonna do this in ink. First thing he did is the vertical line for the center of the face. And then after that, he did um, the oval for the side of the, the head. He indicated where the nose line is going to be. Did the cheek lines. Then the, he sliced over here to do the jaw shape. He banged it down all the way into the, where the chin is. Then he did, uh, let me see if I can remember what he did next. Oh yeah, the eye line over here. And then he did connected, you know, the cheek lines, the planes to the temple over here. And what he did was he started working with um, the nose, the shape of the nose, which is sort of like a triangle shape. Did the eyes, then the other eye over here. And the line that he did over here, of course, helped him, kind of helps form where the, um, the shape of the contour of the face, that it goes in and it goes out like that, see? So you could try this, this actually works out. Then after that, you could, you know, add more features, like, you know, the eyebrows, a little bit arched up, it could be a superhero, it could be anybody. You know, once you do all these techniques, guys, you know, you'll be able to do your characters, whether it's Batman or, you know, Wolverine also, anybody, it could be anybody, just, you know, or any character that you want to make up. You know, it could be Ming from uh, Buck Rogers, I think, or no, Flash Gordon, sorry. It could be the Phantom. It could be anybody. You know? So this is more like the comic book style Andrew Loomis. And he explained it very well. I like the way he explained it. Or you can go with the simple um, Ryan Benjamin that is sort of like a Loomis, but you're actually using an oval, you know. You're using sort of like an oval egg shape, and that's what you're doing. Another way of doing this also, instead of making the eye underneath the uh, eye, eyebrow line, you could actually do it on the eye line, but make sure that the eye line is a little bit lower. And you do the temple, you do the eyes, the eye over here. You render in the triangle for the nose. You'll, you'll be able to see where that nose is going to end, trust me. Little by little, your mind is going to see all this. And then, you know, you do the mouth, the chin. Start, you know, do the ears also, the circle for the ears, the oval for the ears. Make sure that it's where, gonna be, where the jaw is going to be at. You could do a hint of the jaw too if you want. Start working with the contour. 
contour of the whole head all the way to the back. I don't know if I did this right, but anyway, it just it's getting there. Then fix the jaw all the way down to where the chin is. Then you can start doing the the planes. So like a diamond shape like that, see? Except that the eyes are gonna be on top of the line. So it actually works out pretty good. I think it's good. This is also very good for comic books. Very good. Actually helps you out figure out where all the proportions are. I think after this I'm gonna crash because I need to go I need to go to sleep but I gotta work tonight. Yes, I definitely gotta work tonight. And uh you know, you do more details on the cheek, you know, make more features. You can make a crooked nose if you want, make him look like a, a villain or something. You know. So let me see what else I got to offer you guys. I'm going to do one last one. Something else that I did that I observed. Actually, I'm going to save this for tonight. If I get early in my job, at least like an hour early, then I'll do a tutorial in the break room. And that'll be it, guys. I got to get some rest because I got to, I got to work tonight. So anyway, guys, uh, practice a lot. And uh, thank you for watching. And uh, if you're new... Um, subscribe because I'm going to be doing some more videos and I still got I still got to finish the how to draw the Marvel way and how to draw the DC way let me before I let you go let me show you my recent artwork that I did by using all these techniques that I just showed you wow I got a big mess here it's a good thing my brother's not here although he'll have a, a heart attack oh I'll show you my recent uh, drawings that I did. And it might need some more details. So these are the last stuff that I did. And that came out awesome. This one, I used uh, this technique right here. So it came out pretty good. I might do some inking on her. I'm not really sure. Maybe I might. I should do some inking on her. But let's see what happens. And then I did this one. But I actually used the Loomis technique for this one. And I did this one. This one came out really beautiful. And this is the one that I was doing yesterday. And I finally finished the profile that uh, I couldn't finish uh, from the last video. So what I did with this one is, you know, like, let me show you what, I couldn't, you know, tell, you know, the, the rest of the head. So I just figured out, well, let me make a cloak on him and or her, whatever she is. It could be a female or a male. So what I did was I did like curly hair coming out from the cloak. So, I mean, there, there was nothing else I can do with the, because you don't see too much detail with this. And of course, this woman was this one that I did yesterday. And uh, I might go back and fix a little bit the proportions a little bit, because I think there's just too much hair here, not really sure. Or maybe just ink over it. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but I really think that this came out really, really awesome. Yeah, it came out a little good. Let me tip it over so you can see more better because the uh, reflection of the light is not really helping that much. So that's, that's about it. Um, it came out pretty good. So it's all about practice people, you know, just never give up. You always have to keep practicing. And that's what I do. I always practice. Remember, I'm, I'm a beginner also. 
And even though I've been drawing for years, I still need a lot of improvement and a lot of practice. All right, guys, that'll be it. I got to get some rest. I got to go to sleep because I got to go to work tonight. So happy drawing and keep practicing and good luck with your work.